Vapors, Airbit Vapor here again with three more juice reviews for you and it's three more liquids from Lost Arts Liquids. We have got the Bees Knees, Captain Peanut Butter Crunch and Cottontail Cream. Um, now, very kindly sent to me by Tony from vapes.co.uk. He stocks um, the top sellers of this. Um, it's two of the flavours I'm going to be doing today, he's not stocking at the moment, but I'm going to be reviewing them anyway. He kindly sent them on for review, so thank you very much, Tony. You do send me some nice stuff to review. Okay, Lost Arts come from California. Um, they've got uh, a range of seven different liquids in their uh, catalogue. Uh, it's all USP grade ingredients that they use, and they say that they're uh, that the ingredients, the flavouring ingredients, are diacetyl free as well. I don't know if they're AP free and I don't know if the liquids have been tested, but uh, that's good to hear. Um, now, they do sell, um, Tony sells nicotine strengths of 0, 3, 6, 12, and 18 milligrams in his liquids, and they're uh, coming in at um, £15.60 pence for a 15 mil bottle. In fact, no, sorry, my mistake. 30 ml bottle. So that's pretty good value, £50.60 for a US premium e-liquid. The one we're really looking at first of all today is the Bee's Knees. And the Bee's Knees is described as a big sweet milky bowl of your favourite honey or cereal. So I suppose it must be like, or supposed to be like Cheerio, honey Cheerios, I suppose. Um, so what we'll do is we shall have a look as we always do at the actual bottle itself. So I'm just going to get the zoom to work for you. I have to do it manually these days because this camera is not the greatest. There we go. So the Bees Knees Lost Art e-liquids. Lost Art's logo on there. I'm not sure what that's a sign of a picture of on there. Again, we've got this kind of coding on here, printed on there. I don't know what it's for. I don't know whether it's a batch number or it's a best before end date. Zero milligram there. So distinctive labels, they do this kind of white silhouette thing there on the labels. I'm not sure what it means. Childproof caps with a drop of bottle there, which is always nice to see. Okay, so let's give it a go then, shall we? 60-40 all of the liquids are. There's no option to change that BGPG ratio, so we're going to try and okay for on top of the half watts, 1.5 on build. That's really good. Again, if I say it's good, doesn't mean to say that it's good for you. But it's good for me. Getting a kind of honey taste coming through. A cereal flavour and then lots of milkiness in the background. You know, in part one I reviewed some liquids and they, uh, while being good liquids, they really, weren't really my taste. But these uh, Lost Art liquids, this one, Bees Knees, really good. It's nice and sweet, really sweet. Good milky flavour in the background coming through. Uh, kind of cereal flavour as well in there somewhere. So I'm going to whack it in a drip and see what else we can pull out of it. As always, 0.6 on bill, 21.5 watts to start. Definitely that honeyness there to begin with. Um, not so much milky flavour comes through, a touch of cereal, more honeyness more than anything else. Okay, 40 watts then. Very milky, very honey, touch of cerealness in there as well. That's lovely. Yeah, really good. Okay, let's try it at 60 then. It's going to whack a little bit more on the dripper. So yeah, um, really good liquid this one is. It's interesting, really sweet honey flavour coming through. Um, not so much cereals, but really milky. Very good, very good. So, honey flavour, like a honey Cheerio, but with lots of milk backing up. If you like your cereal vapes, I'd definitely try this one. The Bee's Knees from Lost Dart Liquids. Next up then is Captain Peanut Butter Crunch. It's described as, remember Saturday morning cartoons, this flavour recreates our, one of our favourite cereals. Now, 
I don't think we ever had Captain or Peanut Butter Captain Crunch in the UK. Um, I don't remember it. I don't remember it as, as a kid. It might be out there now, but um, yeah. So it's going to be interesting to try this one, a peanut butter cereal vape. Interesting. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the packaging then, as we always do, just so you get an idea of what it looks like. Let's just get it focused in for you. There we go. So we've got the kind of Lost Arts logo on there, that silhouette figure. In the background must be the cereal itself. There's that stamp again. Yeah, I'm presuming that the top one is the batch number, the bottom one is the uh, best before end date. Okay, so that's the packaging. Let's give it a whirl then, shall we? Why is that not working? There we go. Okay, so in the K fun, 12 and a half watts, 1.4 ohm build. Okay, having never tasted peanut butter Captain Crunch or Captain Peanut Butter Crunch or whatever it's called, I can only go tell you what I'm tasting in my mouth now. There is a milky flavour in there and there's a cereal flavour in there and there's a kind of sweet peanut butter flavour. All adds up to a, a it's a quite a you know I was going to be surprised about this but it's quite a pleasant concoction. I always imagined to be pretty horrible. I couldn't imagine peanut butter on a cereal, but it works really well. Because the peanut butter is pretty subtle. It's not an in-your-face peanut butter. The cereal and the milk is actually the predominant flavour, especially in the cake flavour. Okay, let's try it in a dripper then. Might change, might change my mind completely. Okay. 21.5 watts, 0.6 ohms, as always to start. Okay, bit more peanut butter coming through there. Yeah, but milkiness underneath it. A lot of milkiness underneath it. Yeah, really interesting. Okay, let's try it at 40 then. So cereal vape with a peanut butter, like a natural peanut butter flavour, and a milkiness underneath, and really good milk as well. Okay, let's try it at 60. Brings out even more milkiness, even more of a cereal vape with that natural peanut butter taste on the top. I was dubious, but it's won me over. Peanut butter, or Captain Peanut Butter Crunch from Lost Arts Liquids. So then, last one for this review, and last one of all the Lost Art Liquids that have been sent. Thank you very much, Tony. Really do appreciate it. Cotton Tail Cream from Lost Arts E-Liquids, or Lost Arts Liquids. Let's just zoom it in a bit. I'll just get the focus to work a little bit. There we go. So we've got a kind of silhouette bunny, Lost Arts logo with that palm tree on there, strawberry in there, Cotton Tail Cream written on it. Again, with that stamped on number. So quite distinctive labelling from Lost Arts. All of the liquids seem to be pretty um, distinctive in the way that they are um, made up. Very eye-catching. Using a lot of orange and reds in their liquids, it seems like. So, you know, not in the liquids, in the labelling. Hopefully they don't use any colours. Okay, so, in a cave fern at 12.5 watts. This one is described as the perfect balance of sweet strawberries and cream, like a tall glass of strawberry milk. That's a really good strawberry flavour. It's like a natural strawberry flavour. It's got a got a bit of a sweetness on the on the exhale on the aftertaste. Like right, there's been sweetness added. 
And then sitting underneath it is a really good creamy flavour as well. Not massively strong in the cake fan, I've got to admit. But it is um, a good cream flavour, but a really nice natural kind of taste in strawberry flavour. Bit of a sweetness aftertaste though. So let's try it in a dripper at uh, 21.5 watts as we always do on a 0.6 ohm build. Yeah, so as I expected, at the low watts, the creams aren't really coming through, the milk isn't coming through. Um, I haven't really got that, that saccharine, you know, sweetener taste on my tongue, but nice natural uh, strawberry flavour with it. Very natural flavour in strawberry. At 40 watts, the cream starts to come through a little bit more. But I'm going to take it up to 60 watts straight away because I really want to taste this cream. The milks that they put in the other ones, great. So I want to see how good this cream is. Okay, a little bit more on the dripper. Yeah, it's coming through a lot more now. Nice and milky flavour. Just got that sweetness, you know, that kind of artificial sweetening you taste you get. And, and it's just at the end of the vape. It seems like a lot of US liquids have that. Um, you must use sweeteners or something. But yeah, I do like that cream. The cream is really good. And so is the strawberry actually. So a good blend of strawberries and cream. And one of the better ones I've had because it's got a real good creamy flavour to it. So that is, uh, what have we done? We have done, um, that one we just done is cottontail cream. We've also done the bee's knees and we've also done Captain Peanut Butter Crunch. So those three, uh, I prefer those three flavours than the flavours I did in the first um in the first review, you can get most of those flavours from vipvapes.co.uk. Um, the ones he's got in stock, £15, £60 for a 30ml bottle. So, Lost Arts e-liquids, check it out.